Hi, everyone. Get ready for expert tips, practice questions, and clear explanations, all designed to make your NCLEX journey smooth and stress-free. Subscribe now and let's make NCLEX success easy together. 1. A client is receiving an intravenous infusion of 3% saline solution for hyponatremia. Which of the following is the priority nursing assessment? A. Assessing for signs of dehydration. B. Monitoring blood glucose levels. C. Observing for signs of fluid volume overload. D. Checking for increased urine output. Answer. C. Observing for signs of fluid volume overload. Rationale. Hypertonic solutions like 3% saline pull fluid into the vascular space, increasing the risk of fluid volume overload. 2. A patient with severe diarrhea is admitted with a serum potassium level of 3.0 milliequivalents per liter. Which ECG change would the nurse expect? A. Peaked T waves. B. Absent P waves. C. ST elevation D. Flattened T waves. Answer. D. Flattened T waves. Rationale. Hypokalemia causes ECG changes such as flattened T waves and presence of U waves. 3. Which of the following electrolyte imbalances is most likely in a client with adrenal insufficiency, Addison's disease? A. Hypernatremia. B. Hypokalemia. C. Hyponatremia. D. Hypercalcemia. Answer. C. Hyponatremia. Rationale. Adrenal insufficiency leads to low aldosterone, causing sodium loss and water retention. The nurse receives the following lab results for a client. Sodium, 148 milliequivalents per liter. Potassium, 4.2 milliequivalents per liter. Chloride, 110 milliequivalents per liter. What is the best initial nursing action? A. Administer a potassium supplement. B. Offer oral fluids. C. Begin salt-restricted diet. D. Notify the healthcare provider immediately. Answer. B. Offer oral fluids. Rationale. Sodium is elevated. Hypernatremia. Encouraging fluids helps dilute serum sodium levels. 5. Which patient is at greatest risk for fluid volume deficit? A. A patient with a history of congestive heart failure. B. A patient who had a surgical drain removed four hours ago. C. A patient with a nasogastric tube to suction D. A patient receiving isotonic IV fluids at 100 milliliters per hour. Answer. C. A patient with a nasogastric tube to suction. Rationale. NG suction removes fluids and electrolytes, increasing risk of fluid volume deficit. 6. The nurse notes that a client with hypercalcemia has muscle weakness and diminished deep tendon reflexes. What is the best explanation? A. Calcium enhances neuromuscular transmission. B. Calcium suppresses neuromuscular excitability. C. Calcium loss leads to increased excitability. D. Hypercalcemia increases nerve conduction. Answer. B. Calcium suppresses neuromuscular excitability. Rationale. High calcium levels depress neuromuscular activity, causing weakness. 7. A client with vomiting for three days presents with metabolic alkalosis. Which electrolyte imbalance is most likely? A. Hypokalemia. B. Hypermagnesemia. C. Hyperkalemia. D. Hypocalcemia. Answer. A. Hypokalemia. Rationale. Vomiting causes loss of potassium and hydrochloric acid, leading to hypokalemia and alkalosis. 8. Which clinical manifestation would the nurse expect in a client with serum magnesium level of 1.0 mg per deciliter? A. Hypotension and bradycardia. B. Muscle cramps and positive chivostex sign C. Drowsiness and decreased reflexes. D. Respiratory depression. Answer. B. Muscle cramps and positive chivostex sign. Rationale. Hypomagnesemia increases neuromuscular excitability, leading to muscle cramps and positive signs of tetany. 9. Which IV solution is isotonic and often used to treat fluid volume deficit? A. 0.45% sodium chloride. B. Dextrose 5% in water. C. 0.9% sodium chloride. D. 3% sodium chloride. Answer. C. 0.9% sodium chloride. Rationale. 0.9% sodium chloride is isotonic and helps expand the extracellular fluid volume.
10th. A client with syndrome of inappropriate antidiuretic hormone, CYADH, is being monitored. Which finding is most concerning? A. Urine specific gravity of 1.035. B. Serum sodium of 120 milliequivalents per liter. C. Weight gain of 1 kilogram in 24 hours. D. Serum potassium of 4.0 milliequivalents per liter. Answer. B. Serum sodium of 120 milliequivalents per liter. Rationale. A sodium level of 120 milliequivalents per liter indicates severe hyponatremia and risk for seizures. If you enjoy this, hit subscribe and like. It helps us make more videos like this for you.